So for tonight's matchup, we have Dracula versus Moon Knight. These are characters that me and my brother have played beforehand and we've picked the characters beforehand. The only thing that's random in this is the map. Tonight we're playing on the unmatched Hell's Kitchen map. There are specific tokens you can see on the board that aren't there on other maps. Now there are scheme tokens which I will go through. They do cost one turn in order to activate. This one here, and you can put them in a random order, is the payphone. You can choose one card in your discard pile and return it to your hand. The map scheme allows for you to attack, your to attack the target in any space. So you take one action to use the scheme and you need the second action to attack in order for that to go through. There's a first aid kit here which provides recovery of two health and allows the player to draw one card. There are also, what I'd like to say, um, a plus one or a plus two token. When a character stays into that certain spot, when they are either attacked or attacking, they can choose, the player can choose to use this in order to add to its total value. All right. Now quickly going through the characters in case anyone is unfamiliar. Dracula does have an effect or ability that at the start of his turn he may deal one damage towards an adjacent fighter. If that is done, if that is done, Dracula then draws a card. The camera is put in an awkward angle because of Moon Knight's personalities. At the end of his turn, at the start of his turn I should say, as Moon Knight, he is able to move two, up to two spaces, and at the end of the turn, he becomes to he turns to Konshu. Konshu adds two values to his attacks, and he cannot be damaged by anything other than combat damage. After Konshu, he becomes Mr. Knight, and Mr. Knight adds one value to all his defenses, and at the end of the turn, he goes back to Moon Knight. So he does cycle. To, from one card towards the other and we'll just put one card up front in order to keep track. So first turn, five cards at hand, anything over five we will be discarding. For the first turn, I'm going to maneuver, one, two, sisters go one, two, one, two, one, two, I will maneuver again, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, all right, your turn. I'll use my first move, not two spaces. One, two. So Moon Knight's moving two spaces because that's his personality, and now begins the start of his first action. Then I'll attack you. Alright. Alright, so we're going to do the value of damage first. There is his value is four, mine's four, no damage, and then we'll do the after effect. Defense. Defender, you can definitely use the token if you wish. So the token's being played right here. It adds a two value towards his uh, a user's attack or defense. So the value becomes six. <clears throat> so there is in fact two damage that comes off of Dracula. Now we do the effects. I draw one card. What does your do? I, would, I could change my identity. All right, so he changes Kanshu. his personality. All right, so Konshu. Where do you want the discard pile in? There. What's your, that's your two turns? All right, perfect. So, even though Dracula has one, he can deal one damage for an adjacent fighter because he's Khonshu, he doesn't get any on the damage, so that is a very strong play.
So for the first move, Dracula attacks Moon Knight. All right, so no your first we're going to do during. Your opponent discards one random card. So I'll just pick one here without looking. And we add the boost value. So I got a nice three there. Three plus two is five. Minus three, he gets two damage. And then we do your after effects. If you want, bro. Uh, if, he wants, if he wins the combat, he gets to draw a card, which is not the case. I got one more turn. I will run for the hills because I don't want anything to do with that plus two damage. Two. One, two. One, two. One, two. That's my turn. So I'll use this job scheme card. Travel at night. You may move through a fighter up to four spaces. They may move through opposing fighters and gain one action. All right, sure. So he moves through four four spaces. He can move through opponents. There is one here. All right, so one, two, three, four. And he has one action, so there's still two more actions. And I'll attack you. I can already feel, feel this one hurt. Um, During combat, I could move so plus three, so two plus three equals five. Plus so two. the the during effect is uh, he adds the boost value of the top card, which is three. Three plus two is five. Plus his two from being Kanshu, that's seven in total. Now I do have a during effect, so mine technically does go first. Um, add the boost value of your opponent's attack to the value of this defense. So. Sorry, add the boost value of your opponent's attack to this defense. So the boost value of his, his attack is 2, plus 1 is 3. And he, we already discussed that his value is 7. 7 minus 3 is 4. So Dracula takes another 4 damage. One. And there's still one more turn for Moon Knight. So I will move. One, two, and then there. Alright, you, you drew a card, correct? And he's already at Mr. Knight. For the first turn, I'll maneuver. One. One, two, one, two. I will activate the scheme card. I can move any fighter up to two spaces. One, two. And we'll deal, deal one damage for each adjacent sister. So he gets two damage. All right, so I have maneuvered. I used the scheme. It's my brother's turn. I'll draw. <clears throat> and I'll attack you. Alright, that this is your second turn. All right, your first turn was a maneuver. Alright, all good. Yep. So we'll do the damage first. No damage is taken. Defender resolves first. I draw one card. What does yours say? You may draw. You may take. You may draw two cards if you do take two damage. All right. Will you do that? Yes. All right. So he takes two damage and he'll get to draw two cards. If he was Konshu, he doesn't take the damage, but that's not the case. All right. So the start of my turn, I do get. One damage, do get to give one damage, so he gets one damage. And we will, I will be able to draw one card.
All right, so sister attacks Dracula. His sister, obviously. Oh, not defend. All right, he decides not to take defense. So he does get three damage. One, two. So that's six and the seven for me. If you want the combat, place Dracula in any space adjacent to the opposing fighter. So what I will do is, I'm still adjacent, so I can still put him here. But uh, I'll I'll be happy just to leave Dracula there for the moment. <coughs> I will activate the token, which takes one turn. I'll recover two health. <coughs> so that's a nine. And I'll draw one card. Alrighty then. Your turn. First move is a maneuver. Then I'll attack you. So, Alrighty then. Alright, so first we will do mine as it's immediately. I can return the card to my opponent's hand. I will look at his cards and we can choose something else to play. These are pretty good cards. I'd rather have you play this. So... There is no damage that I take, and we've basically used the feint, so you can't use it for in the future. Alright, that's your two turns. And you swap over to Kanshu. He does not get the auto damage because of the Kanshu's ability. No, he's sort of in the ropes. I think I can almost get him here. So... First move, I'll attack. Dracula attacks Moon Knight. All right, so he does get one damage. No. You do get one damage because it adds attack and not defense. Oh, shit. Yeah, so we do subtract one. We do your after combat first, which is... You may deal two damage to both fighters. All right. So the card's effect is we can do 2 damage to both fighters because he's Kanshu, he doesn't get the damage and instead I do. And that's us the usual combo that you want from Moon Knight, any other damage that you take, you try and use Kanshu as best as you can. Now I can move a fighter up to 3 spaces, that's the after effect, so I will do that. 1, 2. Now it's up to, I don't necessarily have to do the 3 spaces, I can do from 0 up to 3. And I believe you still have one turn. Your, your turn's already done, so it's my turn. Yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah, that's that's your turn. Oh, wait, sorry, but I think... No, this is the first turn, so I still have one more. Right yeah, now. but then... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the after effect. So, I still have one turn. I will... Maneuver. One. And that's my turn. I'll attack your sister. Alright, they are still adjacent. He attacks. Alright. Um, I will choose not to defend for this instance. Right, will you boost the damage? Obviously, you don't want to do that. <clears throat> so the sister is off to the discard pile. And so you've maneuvered and you've attacked. My turn here. 
So you're finished with Kanshu and you're Mr. Knight now. All right, perfect. First move, I will draw. Oops, nearly messed up all the sisters here. And then one, two. I will attack. All right. So he does have one plus one value to his defense. There is no damage, and we do his after combat first. We do both damage. All right. So he'll decide to he his, he may be able to do top two damage, which he prefers to do. So that's a 5 versus a 3 at the moment, and I can move my fighter up to 3 spaces. I'm all good with keeping Dracula there. So that's your turn. Oh, at the start, this, this changes at the end of your turn. <clears throat> then I'll fight you. Alright. <clears throat> All right, so immediately we faint the the effect. There is no damage. Uh, there is no effect that will put through, but I do take one damage. So that's a four against a three. That still have one turn, don't you? No, I draw. It. You drew first. Okay, perfect. Alright, at the start of my turn, we deal 1 damage to Moon Knight. And for the first move, <clears throat> I will do an attack. And he faints my beast form, but he still gets the damage unfortunately, so 6 minus 2 is 4, his life's 2. Alright, perfect. Um, what takeaways can we have for the game? Um, <clears throat> so the combos that are specific for Moon Knight is you want to stick with Kanshu as much as you can. Get the card effects that do the auto damage so that you obviously don't take the damage and you can just have the buffs. The, my usual combo or the usual combo for the Dracula players are we do do my bidding so you can see what card is on their hand. Uh, obviously, if you do have a powerful hand knowledge if that happens, and you can decide whether or not to use the beast form. Alright, so coffee's on you next time, James. Mm -hmm.